Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday. Coming at you with another half case break of 2020 Panini Donners Optic Football. That just dropped earlier this week. It's a nice uh, six box half case break. Pick your team number five. And if you follow those instructions right there, you got a shot at a little bit of break credit at the end of the break. So, very big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting in on the action. On Friday the 12th. February 2021 and a fresh case so let's pop this case open and let's see which half we're gonna do you can see six and six on either side. Let's use that die right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's six. So we're gonna do the right side here. This side we will save for next time. In fact, how close is next time gonna be? If you're watching live, that break is down to four teams. And I think there's only one or two quick little breaks after this. So, if someone knocks out those four teams, four people knocks out those four teams, we could run this back not too long after this break right here. All right, thanks everybody, good luck. So big news of the day and we discussed this a little bit earlier today, but now, now that we're in a proper football break here, big news of the day, J.J. Watt and the Texans have agreed to part ways. Which is crazy, I just always think of J.J. This, this pack only has two cards. Um, should be four. We'll get extras in another pack. Anyway, just so you've seen J.J. Watt as a Texan, well, now, where does J.J. Watt go? Where, where, where do we think? I think there's some logical connections we can make, right? Maybe Green Bay. You know, spends a lot of time in Wisconsin. That's where he's from. Steelers, Pittsburgh could be an option. His brothers are there. Derek and T.J. Watt is there. Uh, who said yesterday everyone wants out? Oh boy. Where did it where did it all go wrong for the Where did it all go wrong for the Texans? I think maybe this is the fallout. Maybe the the Bill O'Brien fallout is still. Elliot's thinking maybe Cowboys for JJ Watt. I think there's gotta be a combination of you know what teams can use him, but use him effectively. He's not getting any younger. He's battled some injuries lately. So you have to kind of preserve him. But then you also have to maybe see what you can do money-wise as well. All right, so make something maybe a chance at Chicago in addition to Green Bay and Pittsburgh. Travis saying Packers and Steelers, no other team has a, sh has a shot. No, Alex, like, yeah, no, he, he doesn't actually think so, but he wishes. It'll be interesting. This is, this is a lot of quarterback movements going to happen, too. I think Von Miller is a free agent. So I think we're going to see a lot of new faces on different teams. There's Devontae Parker to 79. Yeah, maybe Bill O'Brien... Moving DeAndre Hopkins, that soured everything in te in Houston. Maybe Dane's suggesting. Yeah, it seems pretty. Yeah, I agree, Elliot. It seems seems pretty bad. Well, at this point, then if that's the case, let's just just tear the Band-Aid off, Houston. 
Let's start over. I, f I feel bad for the, uh, kind of feel bad for the coach. The new coach, brand new coach. There's Justin Jefferson to 179, Minnesota, Mark. Out of 25, Matt Ryan. I like these, uh, the black parallels to 25. They look really sharp. Falcons, Martin. True, mix up. Yeah, Martin saying he's, he's playing for a ring. J.J. Watt's playing for a ring. So maybe maybe going to the highest bidder may not be the be a big factor. There's Darrington Evans to 79. Pink Velocity for the Titans, John. There's DeAndre Hopkins. Speaking of hop, 72 out of 299. We got Tong with the Cardinals. There's my guy right here. I'm a Raiders guy. Josh Jacobs, 70 out of 125. Raiders could use a J.J. Watt. But if he's ring chasing, if he's if he's a golem, then I guess I, Raiders are not that spot yet. <laughs> not right now, anyway. Uh, Angel with the Raiders. And we got Jake Luton, red. Jaguars, that'll be for uh, for Angel as well. Do we not have an autograph here? Did we get shorted the auto? I think we got shorted an auto, didn't we, you guys? Maybe we'll have a bonus auto in another box. There's Darrington Evans for the Titans. Rated Rookie Hollow. Yeah, that's the yeah. I, I think I think the the front runner for JJ Watt right now is him joining his brothers TJ and Derek Watt. I know, right, Eddie? Although, on the flip side, do we call Panini if we get extra hits? Or should we just let that go? We're like, Panini, we got an extra hit. We wanted to send it back to you guys. So the next time someone doesn't have the short of the hit, they can get it. I think at this point, if there, there's that, <laughs> we throw away. I think it all eventually, I mean, maybe not for this break, but eventually it'll, it evens out in the end. I think when when whenever something like that happens, it's usually on the on the not necessarily panini, but it's like the it's at the factory level. Must have been some mistake there. We've seen some cards really miscut as well. I think not any in here this so far, but some boxes we've seen that. All right. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think they're fewer and far between, the autos and hybrid. I think it's not guaranteed a box. There's Derek Carr and Jeff Okuda.
There's Adam Thielen to 199. Henry Ruggs, rated rookie. Adam Thielen to Mark. And we got a Brian Edwards, rated rookie to 50. One out of 50 for Angel and my Raiders. And there's, out of 150, Van Jefferson. There's an autograph. Rated rookie auto for the Rams. Angel with the Rams. Van Jefferson now has a new quarterback throwing to him, Matthew Stafford. I've heard some talk about maybe maybe the Rams. I mean, they're just giving up draft picks, looks like, for Matthew Stafford. You know, so may maybe they're thinking Juju going to Matthew Shearer. Maybe they're thinking, well, let's just go for J.J. Watt. Put him right next to uh, Aaron Donald. That'd be kind of insane, right? Anthony McFarlane Jr. to 179 for the Steelers. Rated rookie for Matthew and another Justin Jefferson for the Vikings for Mark. Calvin Ridley to 299. It's Tom Brady, rated rookie Cole Clement. Wait, did I pass a Burrow? Base Burrow? You maybe thought it was Baker? Tyler Boyd, maybe got confused with Tyler Boyd. Joe Mixon, maybe, you thought? No, I did not pass a Joe Burrow. Bad eyes, bad eyes. Not a good eye, Eddie. If you're wondering why your break is going to happen a minute later than scheduled, you can just you can just talk to uh, you can talk to Eddie. You like Eddie? You're the reason why my break is now a minute later, thirty seconds later than uh than it should have been. Eddie, are you are you uh, are you watching the stream in 720p? Make sure you're watching it. Maybe maybe the quality isn't good. Sometimes YouTube kicks you down a, uh, a uh, resolution level. Make sure you're watching at 720p, the live stream, 720p. The, re the, the recording that we're doing for this, you can actually watch this in 1080p. So the, the videos that we upload actually look probably even better than what you see on the stream. I mean, I, they, they do look better. It's at 1080p. Streams only it's cast at 720p. It was at 480? Oh, no wonder you thought that was uh, Joe Burrow. You gotta watch it 720, ladies and gentlemen. Don't 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 let YouTube tell you what your resolution should be. Yeah, you, you gotta get the full Jaspi experience at 720p. There's Dar uh, Devontae Adams and Darrington Evans. Yeah, see, John too.
You know, now it's all clear, right? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Joe Reed to 125. For the Chargers, Franz with that. We got Dak Prescott. What happens to Dak Prescott? Is that that's a pretty low number out of ten? David Alsop, that card is gold. Got Van Jefferson to seventy-five. Another Van Jefferson autograph going to Angel and the Los Angeles Rams. And there is a Jalen Hurts, a 299. That is for EA and the EAGLES Eagles. There's Elite Series Justin Herbert. We're looking for a regular Justin Herbert, so it's still nice, Franz. And the Bolts. Got eight. There's the jersey Justin Herbert we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Franz got the Charger straight up, gets the Justin Herbert. Maybe maybe we'll find a hollow one next. Maybe some rock, maybe some ink. Good luck. I hope so. We got a Jake Luton to 199. Luton, Luton. And a hollow rated rookie, Justin Jefferson. What a great season he had, Mark. Mark with the Vikings. Nice. Good looking card. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Three boxes to go. Good luck. Christian is saying that Optic 6, second half of this break, only has four teams left. I don't think there is, if you look at the schedule, I don't think there was anything, click the link in the chat, folks, that's where the schedule is. I don't think there's maybe just one one or two quick little breaks after this. But this could be the next big break after that. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, go and get it. I think most of the big teams are gone as well. Mets and Cubs still engaged over possible Chris Bryant trade. Does that mean Justin Turner's coming back to the Dodgers? Will uh, will TJ Watt right here on top reunite uh, or unite with his brother? Oh my God, they're right next to each other. Does Panini know something we don't? Did they predict this? That TJ Watt will be playing with his brother JJ Watt. Bum bum bum. J. 
J.J. Watt to Pittsburgh confirmed. Jalen Ragor to 299. And A.J. Terrell, 48 out of 50 for the Falcons. Martin. Nick Stover, what's going on? Jalen Ragor for EA to 2.99 and the Laviska Schnault Jr. Hollow going to Angel Acevedo. Derrick Henry is numbered. Nice, 10 out of 10. I knew that looked a little different. That goes to John John Wenzel with the Titans, gets the out of 10, 10 out of 10, Derrick Henry dominators. Derrick Henry does dominate. I wonder, Derrick Henry looks like, looks like one of those guys that can, you know, everyone knows that running back careers are generally, there's Jordan Love to 179, generally pretty short, shorter, and a pink velocity of Justin Jefferson for Mark Bissett, nice. I wonder if someone like Derrick Henry feels like a guy that could be pretty effective for like 10 years or something like that. Like an Adrian Peterson type. There's Aaron Rodgers, another Justin Jefferson rated rookie. Daniel Jones, orange to 199. Mythical Russell Wilson. Tyler Boyd to 125 and Clavon Chasing. All right, two boxes to go. Derrick Henry, one of your favorite players? Yeah, he's he seems like a cool dude. He's just just an absolute monster on the field. I guess, I mean, what does, what does Derrick Henry need to improve on? Could I, I suppose he could, if he could be a, a bit more of an effective pass catcher, I guess? I guess that's, which is not, which is not easy, but, but if he can run some routes, catch some passes, I mean, that could, I feel like that could extend the career a little bit, just make him more dangerous and throw him a pass in the open. I know they throw to him every once in a while, but I feel like later in games, if they're coming, trying to come back, I feel like they don't use him in passing situations as much. But I mean, now we're just we're nitpicking, obviously. He's pretty good at what he does. But if you just add a little, little route running, little, little, uh, little pass catching to his arsenal, might extend his career or just make him even more dangerous. Like the Titans are like a, a just a, just a few players away, a lucky bounce or two away, a, a good good stretch run away from maybe making a Super Bowl appearance in the next couple years or so. It's Philip Rivers to fifty. It's Tom Brady. 
champion again with a different team. Crazy. There's Deshaun Watson. I don't know where Deshaun Watson goes. There's Hollow Brian Edwards. But it looks like things are. Seems to be a mass exodus happening in Houston. Texans, Coppola. Who knows? Who knows where this dude goes? Another Justin Jefferson color to two ninety nine. If it wasn't for another Justin, I feel like this guy would have been Offensive Rookie of the Year. I know receivers tend not to win those kinds of awards, but but he might have been the, the, the exception this year. What an excellent season for him. It would be good for the hobby if he keeps that going. Hashtag good for the hobby. Could turn out to be a pretty incredible receiving class. It's Kenneth Murray to 125. His elite series. Justin Jefferson. And we got Darrell Taylor, Lime Green. That could be a color match if he wasn't in his uh, Tennessee gear. That Lime Green could have matched with the Seahawks colors. Uh, Tong with the Seahawks. That's the 35. Ooh. 16 out of 25 behind Baker is Zach Moss four color patch and autograph the RPA I think these generally fall one per case Buffalo Colin Adams with the Buffalo Bills Buffalo the slot machine Buffalo gold Matt Ryan to 199 and the final box here in picker team number five i wonder if the falcons are starting to think about life after matt ryan i, I find it hard to believe that they're going to trade matt ryan I mean, he's been such a great, you know, player for the Falcons and been there his entire career, so on and so forth. But what is he? He has three years left on his deal: 2021, 2022, and 2023, at which he will be 38 years old. So I guess he still has some years left. So I guess he would have some years left. Excuse me. In five minutes, this is not gonna be over in five minutes. I gotta do. I gotta rip open these packs. I gotta do the break credit. See who wins money. Star's not that important, is it? I guess it is kind of fun to see see the see the first handful of laps. Last handful of laps. That's that. That's where it's at. weren't a little so goofy. I might might be able to do this a little bit faster actually. Hello. All right, all right, all right. La 
last box. Thanks everyone for getting in. Second half of this uh, this box is in the store right now and almost full. So let's make that happen. There's Patrick Queen to 299. For the uh, purple birds, that'll be for David. There's Tua Tungavailoa, Elite Series rookies. For Miami, that's going to be for Sean Maddock. And we've got Pink Velocity, Grant Del Pitt. Some more Brady. Hollow rated rookie, Jeff Okuda. That's true, yeah, it is Daytona. Crashes most likely on lap one as it is in 100. Do they do stages in the truck in the truck series as well? Everyone do stages? There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. to 199, orange. That'll be for Angel and the Jaguars. And all those cards I'm sleeving will uh, will be top loaded before they go out. Of course, there's Odell Beckham Jr. Some rumors that Odell Beckham Jr. may go maybe lured to Tampa Bay. That'd be crazy. Browns Polo with that one. There's Red Nick Chubb to 99. And. 48 out of 99, Cam Akers, Rated Rookie Hollow Autograph. The Rams, great break for Angel and the Rams. There's a Van Jefferson back here, now a Cam Akers who finished the season pretty strong. And Aaron Donald to 125. And that is that. Thank you very much, everybody. That was Half Case, Pick Your Team number 5. Let's randomize... Uh, let's do the randomizer for the break credit, and then we'll do a quick little uh, autograph and parallel recap. Let's flip back to this screen right here. Let's sort everyone's name by their first names. Now, if you follow the instructions, once uh, two teams, if you buy two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. Just buy an even number of teams, and half of that would become entries for break credit. Angel bought four. That's two entries. David bought two. That's an entry. EA bought two, that's an entry. Capola bought four, that's two entries. John bought two, that's an entry. Mark bought four, that's two entries. Martin bought two, that's an entry. Sean Maddock bought two, that's an entry. And Tong bought two, that's an entry. So there you go. So there's uh, 12 entries right here. Get those names in there. So almost half, top five, almost half, will get $50 of break credit each. After nine times, four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And good luck, ninth and final time after nine. There you go. There's your top five. Mark, Angel, EA, Sean, and Mark again. Mark Bissett, I'll send your uh, break credit in one, $100 break credit for the 250s that you won right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that was six spots. Pick your team number five. Pick your team number six is already in the store. Just three or four teams left. Check it out, and we can run back this break tonight. Recap. Pretty nice stuff. At Derek Henry's to 10. Hollow Justin Jefferson, base Herbert. Gold Dak Prescott. A lot of nice Justin Jeffersons as well. And these cards appeared back to back. I think Panini might know something that, that we don't. So there you have it. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.